All right, ready? You ready? We're ready. As we approach the end of 2022 and considering that the real estate explosion has officially ended, the question most people are asking is have prices in Miami gone down and will they continue to trend that way in the future? You probably know that for sales, inventory is up and showings are down, which has led to a decrease in home prices. But what about rentals? Well, today's video of a two bedroom, two bath and a half at the prestigious Brickle House condo, which you probably guessed is in Brickle, is listed for rent at $4,500. Now, what it ends up renting for still remains to be seen. But what I can tell you is that in 2020, this exact property rented for $3,000 per month. And just last year in 2021, it rented for $4,000 per month. And now in 2022, it's listed for $4,500 per month. So that's a $1,000 increase from just two years ago. And that's a $500 increase just this year. Now you may be wondering how this is at all possible with everyone talking about the Miami real estate bubble and how prices for both sales and rentals are going to crash and yada, yada, yada. And look, I get a ton of comments on my videos, always saying that they would never pay X amount of dollars to rent or buy a property that I just made a video of. But what you must keep in mind is that the value of a property is only worth what somebody else, in this case, the market is willing to pay for it. And in the case of today's video at Brickle House, the lowest two bedroom rental that's rented within this building in the last six months has rented for $4,500. So what this means is that even if this property ends up renting for less than $4,500, it's still probably gonna rent for more than the 2021 rate of 4,000. So in a nutshell, prices, at least in Brickle, have not decreased or crashed by any means. But those major increases that we've seen have definitely slowed down to a fraction of what they were just a year ago. And it's likely that the slowdown is, of course, going to continue into the new year until we get to some sort of equilibrium or equilibrium. <laughs> equilibrium or stabilization in prices. This could of course mean an overall decrease in the future if this continues and the trend continues to slow down. But as of the making of this video, that does not seem to be the case anytime soon at least. So quick recap on Brickle House before we jump into today's video. The property is located on Brickle Bay Drive and it's just a few blocks away from Mary Brickle Village and Brickle City Center for those of you who are looking to stay close to the action. It also has great amenities and was built in 2014. Now this property does come with one parking space, but I feel like I have to mention that it is a a detached garage so it's not an attached parking to the building so parking is through valet only which i know is a major deal breaker for some of you renters out there so just keep that in mind and with that said let's jump into today's video and of course like subscribe ring that bell and share this video and all that other good stuff to help me out with the youtube algorithm and nothing more on my end guys so enjoy
enjoyed today's content and want to see more stuff like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to be notified of my weekly property tour content and other Miami real estate information. Also, if you want to see more property tours or other videos, make sure you click on any of the playlists or videos that you see here on screen. Thank you so much for tuning in and making it this far. As always, I will see you all next week. Take care and God bless.